Clef, before we let you go, we're living in dark times. We have the election coming up right around the corner. Do you see any reason to be optimistic in this time? Do you see any light at the end of the tunnel? How do you feel about the state of the world today, given what's going on? I definitely see light within the end of the tunnel because this is the, the United States of America. And no matter what we stay saying, we traveled all over the world. There's no place like this. There'll never be a place like this because this is the opportunities where dreams come to. Now, I remember in a course of history and I'm looking at Martin Luther King and there's a rare picture that Dr. King, like he looks like he was like, stressed out of his brain you know what i mean like what the, what's going on right because many a call a few are chosen for certain things and it looked in that moment like dr king was like i don't know it, that picture looked like that it was a stress picture right then i hear that i had a dream speech right and then it's sort of like that I had a dream was like, oh, even if I don't see it, y'all going to see it. You see what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, looking at King, looking at Kennedy, you know, I could keep going. Um, with different course of history, we go through these periods where it just looks like completely like, what the hell is going on? But keep in mind, love always conquer hate. I'm telling y'all, when people is like the country's divided, I understand what y'all saying. But if I was to gather the amount of people in the country, love would conquer hate. It always does. The echo of hate, though, sounds so loud that at times we're like, is there really love here? And I promise you, like, um, love is here. It's going to go heavy. Um, and I encourage everybody that is listening right now. Um, and I could tell you 1 trillion percent that, um, I mean, this is probably my first time saying this, is this breaking news probably. So within the breaking news, um, I have to go with Joe Biden, right? And I'm saying this, I need everybody to hear me. Like at the end of the day, it's important uh, my daughter, who's 15 years old, as she grows up, it's important for her to think that certain things are not the norm. You know what I mean? Like, if a kid is inspired to be something tomorrow, it's so important that the leader that we choose is an example of what we want our future to be. So now I'm not literally discussing policies with y'all, right? Because you'll be like, okay, Clef, um, well, in your situation, wouldn't you want to go with Donald Trump? It would be much easier for you, right? Because, right, then I would say no, because at the end of the day, it's really not about me. It's about the masses. Like, it's about the middle class. My parents came from the middle class. And at the end of the day, how do we get it back to fairness? The, the idea of how many people is not employed. The idea of, I don't want to tell the American people this because I do not want to alarm them that this thing is airborne. Um, so all of this like is not normal. So um, I think that, um, and at the end of the day, people are like, man, listen, man. And I'm talking in behalf of someone who has Democrats in my family, Republicans in my family, independents on my family. Um, and I have to sway on the side of Joe Biden on this one.